Hey, it's Pulse for Pioneer DJ, and this video is how to get started with the XDJ RX2 on a Mac. If you're looking for the Windows version, check the link in the description below. First things first, let's go to the PioneerDJ.com website and grab the support files necessary. If you haven't already updated your firmware, I recommend watching the firmware video also linked in the description. What we're looking for here is the drivers that are appropriate for our operating system. Here you can see we've got drivers from Mac, so we're going to click on the download link. And while I'm here, I'm also going to grab the USB connection. This is the link export driver. Now, this one is important because the RX2 does not have an Ethernet connection. It uses an Ethernet to USB bridge. So what we're going to do is grab that download link and save the zip file. And that will install a second set of drivers. Now, there are drivers specific for Windows and Mac. So be sure to grab the correct ones there. You'll notice that I don't have the USB cable connected to the back of the XDJRX2. It's important that we install the drivers before connecting it the first time. So I'm going to unzip and open the disk image. And I'm going to run the audio driver installation. If you're doing this on High Sierra, you will have completed, however, the driver installation will not have finished because it will have been blocked by the security. It's important to follow the instructions in the document linked below to be able to actually properly install your audio drivers. Before I connect the XDGRX for the first time, I'm also going to run that other utility. This driver installation requires that I restart the computer, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Now that my computer's restarted, I can go ahead and delete the files that were previously created from the downloads. And I'm also going to connect the USB. To confirm that my device was properly connected and that the drivers were installed, I can open up the Audio MIDI setup application and on the Audio Devices window, now I can see the XDJRX2. And if I open up the MIDI Studio, I will be able to find the XDJRX2 as it is connected. If neither of these devices appear, please visit us at forums.pioneerdj.com where we can help you troubleshoot this step. Let's open Rekordbox and see if we are connected. If Rekordbox prompts you as to which speaker configuration you want to choose, select the one that's appropriate to your system, and then click OK. Here we are in export mode of Rekordbox. This is one of the three methods of using Rekordbox with the XDJRX2. Down in the bottom left corner you can see I have a link button. If I click on that, I'll then be able to link my player in export mode. If you haven't properly configured your firewall or installed the link drivers, you will not see this appear, nor will you be able to communicate with the player by dragging and dropping tracks. And now with tracks loaded directly from Rekordbox and Link, all I have to do is press play, and now I have music playing from either deck. You also have the ability to press the Rekordbox button and browse the tracks from Rekordbox directly off the player itself. Our second method of controlling Rekordbox is through performance mode. Click export in the top and switch to performance. If you're currently linked, it will warn you that you are currently linked and you may be disconnecting the audio. Click yes to continue. The software is now in performance mode, however, we need to put the XDGRX into performance mode as well. Press the MIDI button and assign each of the sides. Now your mixer automatically switches to MIDI control. Rekordbox should automatically configure itself, but you can verify by clicking the gear icon and going to the preferences. Here you can see the audio device is selected as the XDJRX2 and your outputs are master and phones. You now have the ability to navigate through your collection directly through the controls on the player itself. The third method to use an XDJRX is in standalone mode. Here you can prepare a USB device within Rekordbox for playback on the XDGRX without a computer. Connect the USB device and you have the ability then to go and configure and customize the various categories and columns that will be available on the drive itself. You can also export music to the drive directly from performance mode. A high-speed USB 3.0 device will take only a few moments to export even several gigabytes worth of music. 
With the export complete, click the eject button to remove it from the record box and to remove it from your computer. Connect it to either one of the top USB ports and select it from the player's hardware buttons. As you can see, I'm able to load from both record box and a USB source at the same time. To reassign one of the decks back to record box control, press the MIDI button and press the load button. If you're currently playing, press the rotary selector to confirm, and now it's back to being assigned to record box. Those are the basics for the XDJ RX2. If you have any other questions, please visit us at forums.pioneerdj.com.